right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Paulo Costa and Jared Cannonier. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bojashinha. But man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold. Tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Costa is 29. Cannoneer is 36. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting! in the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paulo, the eraser, Paulo! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just twerk that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, that's a nice strike. Punch is blocked. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Cannoneer gets caught with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. So just over 20 total strikes have found them up. That was how low cost. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Just misses with the right. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure it doesn't land. Nice punch by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Cannoneer's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Misses with the left hook. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? with the left there. Pretty good right hand. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You can tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. He lands flush with that right hand. Cannoneer gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Costa's kick, that one blocked. Whiffs on that offering. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side, beating his leg up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, round two now, ladies and gentlemen. Paolo Costa and Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannon. He throws the right hand there. 
Nice straight punch. Cannonier's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Austin gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just out of range with that right hook. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier, with that powerful right hand tonight. You gotta be careful not to eat too many more of those. I mean, made his debut as a heavyweight. Right. And now he's down at 185 pounds, just demolished the dude. Jared Cannonier is a beast. He's a savage. And whoever gets in the octagon with him better know they got their hands on Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking club. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes have landed for Jared Kennedy. Well, and if you're scoring at home, connecting at an accuracy rate of just 31% here against Paolo Costa. Costa gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just a slip there. Wild swing there. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he continues to work the body here. Caught that kick there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Watch knees to the body. Nice. Punch there. Very significant well to the left side. Slips the punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice counter shot there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Costa. Just misses with the left hook. Oh! That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh, though. he might be out. What a fight. What a punch. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you got to like the offense we're seeing from him. Oh! Punch no good. Cannoneer gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but 
That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Right hand on point. Killer jab there from Jared Cannonier. Amazing to think where he would have been had he gotten an earlier start at MMA. He's only been at this for a few years and obviously has realized incredible results. It's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary to think who this guy would be if he started doing this early. But you live in the here and now, right? And Jared Cannonier is taking full advantage of every opportunity that he's given. Oh, big punch lands. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! And he continues to work the body here. Cannoneer gets hit with a kick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed active. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, and he lands another punch there. You can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut of the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeted. And keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change his target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, not a good sign for the opposition here. 148 total strikes have landed for the killer gorilla, Jared Kennedy. Oh, well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Kennedy. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Nice liver shot, Lewis. Back to the feet. Cannoneer shot there is blocked. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Slips the punch nicely there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice punch, Lance. Nice one-two there. All right, one minute to go in round three. All right, so a good job defensive. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. 
Just misses there with the left. Oh, effective strike there by Costa. Wow! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, big left hook there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Just as he did the previous round, he's continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Connects with the right hand. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Try to establish that jab. out of the exchange. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy oh. has been hit. Beautiful knee. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, nice combination. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, straight right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound on, going now. Let's go do something. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. 90 seconds to go. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Costa. Recovery, man, right back. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a fight! Yeah, that 
was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paulo Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.